All right, so boom. Yes, sir. It's time to look back on all the videos I posted in 2021. Y'all know how this works, considering I've already done this for my 2019 and 2020 videos. So check those two videos out if you haven't seen them. They'll be linked in the pinned comment. But let's get right into it, man. I wasn't expecting people to watch this solely because of the thumbnail. Every person on this list was a 2000s artist that I feel like your modern day teen don't give a shit about. I had Hurricane Chris, Ja Rule, Fabulous, like Yin Gang Twins on here. And as y'all see for the thumbnail, this is Ashanti. I did really like this idea though. Making a video about songs I liked as a kid, but when I got old enough to pay attention to the lyrics, I went like, whoa, like <laughs> why was I listening to such an adult song? So that's an easy way to describe this video. I think it was a great idea, but I went into it not expecting people to watch it solely because of who I put in the thumbnail. As soon as I announced that Drake was the next artist I was doing an Am I Sleeping video on, I had a few people instantly say, I thought you weren't interested in listening to Drake because I said like three months prior that I had no interest in listening to him. But as soon as I thought of the idea for this series, like after Juice World, I was like, Drake can easily be the second person. Funny thing about the bonus song in this video, the song is called Do Not Disturb, right? And I put it in the video because I saw the song trending on Twitter for being called the best outro song on any Drake project. So because niggas on Twitter are where I got the recommendation from, I actually put niggas on Twitter <laughs> at the bottom where I usually put the name of the person that gave me the song. And to this day, I am so mad that I forgot to change the logo from the YouTube one to the Twitter one. So even though it says niggas on Twitter, it has the YouTube icon right there. And I was so mad that I didn't catch that. This video made me realize that people think you're calling an artist overrated if you say, I don't see why people like this artist so much. The amount of dick suckers that Young Thug has is amazing because I had someone on my ass like, so do you think Young Thug is overrated? I said, no, all I said was based on what I've heard. I don't see why people love him so much. And I told any Thugger fan watching the video to comment and explain to me why they like him. And that person was like, well, you're calling him overrated then. Saying I don't get why people like this guy so much is the same as saying they don't deserve the praise that they get. I don't agree with that dude at all, but y'all let me know how y'all feel. <laughs> This video also has like one of the shortest explanations I've ever done in recent times for a video. The number two entry, two chains only talked about for 60 seconds. That 60 seconds flies by when you actually watching the video. This was actually one of those times where I said out loud to myself, like, yo, this is actually a good ass idea. I was thinking about just all the freshmen that have been on the list and I realized there were some that I've never even batted an eye yet. Like I've never been interested in checking out their catalog. So I went, like, I can easily pick, like, five of these niggas and talk about them in a video. And man, the amount of ski masks of some guy fanboys that came after me for having him in the thumbnail and even in the video is crazy. Intensified Charts had actually shared this video on his community tab, and somebody deadass said, he has ski masks in the thumbnail, so I'm not watching. Y'all are really pathetic. <laughs> but I dropped this video four days after I dropped the previous video that I just got done talking about. I dropped that video April 5th, and I dropped this one April 9th. The reason why I dropped this video so soon after that one is because April 9th, 2021 is the day that DMX died. So I definitely wasn't trying to make the day like about me or nothing like that, but I figured since a lot of people were upset that day, I could help lift y'all spirits in a sense. I'm gonna point out what video it is later, but there was a video where I originally had a DMX song as one of the five entries, but I removed it because I didn't want to see anybody saying, oh, you only put this in here because X died. Like, I'll point it out when we get there. So I'm not one that cares about getting dislikes on my videos, but would y'all believe this video went an entire month before getting this first dislike? This Am I Sleeping On Future video was uploaded May 7th. It didn't get its first dislike until like the middle of June. I was so surprised by that. Especially since I was roasting the song Pray For A Key, so I thought one person <laughs> that's a big Pray For A Key fan would dislike Off The Rip because I didn't like one of their favorite songs. But I am glad that I checked out Future's music though. He, he a cool dude when he not being toxic. And boom, we already here. This is the video I was talking about where I said there was a DMX song I originally had on the list, but I chose to remove it to avoid people talking shit. The song that was going to be included was Rough Riders Anthem, and I was going to talk about how much the what ad libs after every line actually adds to the song being entertaining instead of being annoying. I may include it if I ever make a part two, but for this first version, nah. But another thing, one thing I did in this video, I put a video of me and my classmates back in high school <laughs> and like dancing like inside of our gym, and pretty much nobody pointed it out. I thought people would be roasting us for the way we were dancing, but nobody said anything. 
I put it in there when talking about Hannah Montana by the Migos because that's the song that I was playing like in real life when we was doing those dances. And hearing that song always brings back memories. I went in on Big Shine in this video. I talked about that one song, Come Over, for over four minutes. Every other song I only touched on for like two. But I was going off on that trash ass song. That's legit one of the worst love songs I've ever heard. His bars were terrible in that track. And me ranting about that song for four minutes is why I get why people can look at me and think like, damn, this man really hates Big Sean, huh? Even though I never said I hated him, he just got a lot of trash material. Also, I really love the hook, the Kodak's Honey Bun. <laughs> Even though I can admit the song is cheesy as hell and I can roast it, I still be singing it all the time. I be looking for you, ooh, tell me where you from. I've been searching for you, where you been? Go where the hell you been? Don't let me be your man, cause when I catch feelings, they be slipping right up on my hand. <laughs> like, that's, that's all about my shit. <laughs> this is a video I can easily make a part two for if I felt like it, because I already got like five other examples. Rappers love to say lines, then be like, I bet y'all didn't catch that, and then they run it back. Like, I hate that shit. <laughs> This was the most successful video I posted last year up until I made my XSL rankings. Those are coming up soon, but when I dropped this, this instantly started to get like a good number of views. And I think it's because of Uzi being in the thumbnail. That definitely had to be what it was. But hey, if you got more examples of rappers saying bars and then going like, get it, like send them to me so I can put them in part two. You only let me love you if you stay. It goes on and on and on and on and on. I still fucking love Deceived Emotions. <laughs> that is my number one favorite song that has ever been in an Am I Sleeping video. And I've listened to over 90 tracks for this series so far. Nothing has topped this. As much fun as I had making this video, and even though my favorite song I've ever been recommended for in this series and in this video, this is also my most disappointing video that I dropped last year. I released this video around the time the Young Boy Better memes started taking off and people had Young Boy's dick in their mouth all day every day. So I was expecting this video to like take off in a sense. I thought this was a hit 10,000 views in like a few days or so. This shit didn't hit 10,000 views until the 99th day it was uploaded. So let's just round up and say 100. It took 100 days for this video to hit 10,000 views and here I am thinking it would hit 10k with the quickness because of how much people was in love with Young Boy at that time. So I had fun making this video and I love deceived emotions, but truthfully y'all, I was pretty bummed by the performance of this video. This right here was the start of the most successful month I had last year. July 2021 was hands down the best performing month I had last year. The most views, the most hours watched, the most subscriber gained, and the most money earned. All of those things happened this month. And also, I have been keeping track of how many views my videos typically get within the first day. And I've tracked all of my first day views of all of my 2021 videos. The top five videos I posted last year that had the most first 24 hour views were all posted in the same month. And that's the five videos I'm about to talk about now. This is the one that started it. People saw a flight on the thumbnail and were hella intrigued. <laughs> but as usually the case with my channel, my views started to take off when I posted this next video here. Yes, indeed, the ranking of the freestyles. Even though Pooh Shiesty and 42 Doug had the worst ones, they also are my favorite ones. <laughs> I literally like the two worst freestyles the most. For anybody who wonders why I like trash music so much, it's because I like roasting things and something being bad can make me laugh and it's easy to make fun of. But not if it's super trash, like something sucks so much to the point where it's not even funny. And it's more so sad. But Shiesty and Doug, they were funny enough to where they had my favorite ones and Doug even had my favorite cypher. Ain't that a PJ? RP to CJ, my thought off for BH, I'm still duck in the DA. Be the boys. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you all this. I'm not about to explain everything that happened, but there was this smaller channel who commented on my video saying that she had made her own version of the rankings. So I'm like, all right, cool. Turns out this heifer was just completely mooching off of other people's videos to get views on hers. Every single XXL freestyle ranking video that got posted last year. This same girl was in the comments like, hey, I made my own version too, check it out. I saw her on like seven different channels. We ended up getting into a conversation about the shit cause I was like, girl, you lame as hell for doing that. You seriously going to everybody's video, copying and pasting the exact same thing. Like, hey, check out my ranking video. Like your channel not going nowhere if you're gonna keep doing it. Like, come on now. Her main response was, even if it's lame for me to do that, it's even more lame for you to call me out on it. You got over 70,000 subscribers. Why are you even messing with a smaller YouTuber? I'm like, bitch, don't try to flip this on me. 
But Shorty Channel is actually doing good now. Nah, she became one of those like drama like T channels. She was probably already doing it, but that that XXL ranking video she made like I I think I went to her channel like a few weeks later and I couldn't even find it anymore. So she probably got rid of that shit. I don't have to say much about this video because I still agree with my rankings. The only thing that I would change about the order of the list is switching number six and five. I would put Ruby Rose over Tuesday. I did also say the beat with Flo Millie, Ruby Rose, and then was the best beat. I don't know if I still think that. The other two might be better now. Oh, like, you know what? Also, I also realized that I'm about to stop uploading my XSL rankings in the middle of the night. Last year in 2020 and this year with the freestyle ranking video, I posted those rankings like at 2, 3 in the morning whenever I got done editing them. This video right here, ranking the 2021 ciphers, I posted at like 2 p.m. instead of overnight. And this shit instantly got more views than the freestyle ranking video from this year and then both of the ranking videos from last year. This cypher ranking video surpassed those other three videos in like four days. Like seriously, both my 2020 XXL ciphers and freestyle rank videos have been out for a year and a half and they both only got like a little over 40,000 views. But this video here of ranking the 2021 ciphers got 40,000 views in like four days. Like that shit instantly became more popular than those videos. That, that was crazy for me. So you best believe I'm no longer uploading videos in the middle of the night. Easily the most popular video I dropped on my channel last year. Like this even performed better than the XXL videos. And I was super surprised by that. Y'all, let me tell you. I posted this video and then I went like to this little fast food joint to get something to eat. The whole time I was gone, my YouTube studio was on fire. This video got 11,000 views in the first day. And even within the first hour, it got like 4,000 views. I was like, God damn, is this because I put Blackie's Peaks in the thumbnail or something? What's going on here? But about the video itself, I 100% stand by everything I said, but I want to touch on the first point real quick because people completely ignored the entirety of what I said in that first entry. So I said how rap fans will call an old school artist a legend, even though they don't know any of their music, like, and they don't know anything about their legacy. They're just calling them a legend because everybody else calls them one and they want to fit in. Now verbatim, I said people will call the artist a legend and they can't even name three songs by that artist. Then after that, I said it's okay if you can't name three songs by a person and you call them a legend as long as you're educated on how that rapper influenced the game, you know, and influenced other artists. I've gotten so many comments that showed me people completely ignore the second half of what I said. <laughs> I was getting comments like, I completely disagree with that first one. I can't name you three songs by Chief Keef, but I still call him a legend because he pretty much invented drill rap. Every street artist we have right now was influenced by his 2013 Chicago style. Even huge rappers now like Lil Durk wouldn't be who they are if it weren't for Keef. So no, your first point makes no sense. I was seeing those comments like that and I was thinking, motherfucker, you said I completely disagree with you. And then immediately after said, I can't name any Chief Keef songs but I'm fully aware on how he influenced rap, so I call him a legend. If that's the case, what the hell are you disagreeing with then? <laughs> like, you helped me prove my point clear as day, but trying to say that you disagree. Like, I, I promise y'all, people don't pay attention to shit. And rounding out the most successful month of my channel last year is my Am I Sleeping video on Gunna. And Gunna so far is the only person I made an Am I Sleeping video on where I said no as the answer. I did not enjoy a lot of these dudes' songs. Even though I haven't made a video about it, after listening to Polo G's music, he is another artist where I would have said no if I made an Am I Sleeping video on him. Like, I got sick of his style really fast. But back to Gunna, like, I did like the hook to top off. I took the top off. I'm dripping like hot sauce. Like, <laughs> but the entire song is generic as hell. But Met Gala was a dub too. But overall, y'all can keep Gunna. Oh yeah, and that, that hard body, hard body, hard body song that Crock and ENT told me to listen to was ass. I was so disappointed that Pat was hyping that song up. But y'all remember me saying how these past five videos were the most successful like, first day videos I had last year? This Gunna video was the fifth most popular, but if we're not counting the XXL ones, it was actually the third most popular. Who would have guessed an Am I Sleeping video about Gunna? was my third most popular first day video last year. I guess I was pushing P before it was a thing. One of the songs I had in this list was the song Just A Moment with Nas featuring Quan. 
That song is one of those instances where I had a song in my notes for an insanely long time before I finally included it in a video. I found out about that song in the summer of 2019 and I was like, man, this song is way better thanks to Quan singing. But I didn't tell y'all that <laughs> until August of last year. So yes, I've had this song in my notes for two years. Mind y'all, summer of 2019 was before I made old ass videos like my five worst love songs and five songs that grew on me videos. Like This was even before that. But yeah, I enjoyed this video, man. Mike and Young Jeezy was fun to do too. <laughs> Neo watched him on that collab. I didn't care to put a promoted song in that video because it was a topic that I really wanted to get off my chest. But truth be told too, this is another video where I'm disappointed in the views it got. I was also expecting this video to go like crazy a little bit because I put Fantano in the thumbnail, but ain't nobody watched this. Me and Culture on the Boom and Chaos show had a series where we talked about the assumptions and misconceptions of being a music YouTuber, which I recommend going to watch. It's in the season six of the Boom and Chaos show, and I recommend watching this video that I made on the topic. But truthfully, yeah, I really thought having Fantano on the thumbnail was going to do something. <laughs> but the views on this one plateaued hard. It got 2,700 views the first day, 2,400 the second day, and then only got 680 the third day. I don't know what the hell happened that caused this video to go from getting 2,400 views a day to only 600, but it never surpassed more than 500 views a day after that. This is another video that I uploaded past a time I'm particularly used to. It wasn't no overnight stuff like the XSL videos, but I usually upload my videos at 4 p.m. Eastern time. But this 21 Savage video and the Gunner video, I didn't post until 6 p.m. And the views on both of them still went well, so I guess that two hour difference don't matter. That man Intensifier Charts was really pressing me about putting Ghostface Killers in here. I, I definitely had to put him on blast because he would not leave me alone about that. And that song wasn't even good. I think he was just in love with it because Offset was on there. But the last thing I'm going to say that's going to trip y'all up, my favorite song that I heard from 21 Savage while making this video wasn't even one of the songs that was on the list. <laughs> while making this video, I ended up finding a song called Ass and Titties featuring Young Miami, and that was my jam. It still is my jam. Ass and titties, ass and titties, shake that ass and titties. Like, <laughs> you could call me over if y'all want to. This song is tight. <laughs> I also gotta really start paying attention to how long my description be for some of these tracks and these Am I Sleeping videos because that very first song, Good Day, with Project Pat and Schoolboy Q, I talked about for over five minutes and I have no fucking idea why that description was that long. First things first, let me tell y'all. Some kid told me I was clout chasing by making this video on X. I'm not gonna fully explain what happened, but what I will say is I really hate that my fan base is mostly teenage guys because y'all could be the most irritating niggas in the world sometimes. I had to cut into this one kid because this motherfucker was talking about, uh, of all people you could have did, you chose X. I feel like you just doing anything for views now. He ended up saying why he was so hurt about it and it was because he's a big Playboy Cardi and Lil Uzi Vert fan. So he was like, it's really bugging me that you haven't made any videos on Uzi or Cardi, but you want to do song ranking videos on Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, and now you're doing this video on X? I can't believe you. Man, the way you kids act when it comes to these two is incredibly sad. That same kid was already bugging me. Like He was one of those people where I guess he was so fascinated to talk to a YouTuber he watched because he would mention me all the time about stupid stuff. And one day I finally had enough. He randomly messaged me asking something like, why does Blackie speaks dick ride Roddy Rich so much? And I snapped. <laughs> I'm like, nigga, go find you something to do. Stop trying to talk to me every day. Wildly enough though, this video on X ended up being very successful. Like this shit surpassed the views of every other Am I Sleeping video on the channel. And that's because the X video didn't really plateau in views till like three weeks after it came out. The first week this video got 7,000 views and then the next week it had another 7,000. And then the next week it had another 7,000. So. I have all these other Am I Sleeping videos that's been up for five to seven months and only have 10,000 views. This X Am I Sleeping video passed 20,000 views in only three weeks. I was surprised by that. It's been a long time coming. I finally made a collab video with the one, the only, all the culture. I actually had to tell culture to tone down the cussing, believe it or not. <laughs> when Brody sent me his audio, he was cussing like a sailor. I'm like, hold on, bro, calm down. <laughs> but my man's culture came through and spit facts on y'all, especially his last entry about how people clown artists for being fake and not living that street life. But when an artist does live that street life and really do be out here robbing and killing, y'all want to say this violence amongst rappers needs to stop rap about something more positive. I don't really think y'all heeded culture's message in that because that was some real shit. 
For my portion, the number four entry was seven fucking minutes. <laughs> but towards the end of it, I roasted somebody who tried to ask me what was my musical background on a community post I made about Drake's certified lover boy. That kid that I was roasting showed up on my channel a couple of months later on my young boy song ranking videos talking about we got off on the wrong foot. I didn't even know it was him at first and I said that to him. I was like, I don't even know who you are. <laughs> A third person saw our interaction and said, like, dang, Amir, you be on these people's heads. I'm like, I'm not on his head at all. He just randomly commented saying we got off on the wrong foot like I was supposed to remember who he was. Then the kid finally responded and he was like, oh, we had a little tiff under one of your community posts a few months ago, but I see that you're a fan of young boys, so I'm willing to start over. Man, long story short, he he's blocked now. Like, he he's blocked. He said a lot of other stupid shit later on, and that's why I had to block him, but yeah, he, he out of here. The second collab, and there are more to come in the future, don't worry. But Pat was also cussing like a sailor when he first seen his audio. I was like, my gosh, man. Why are all my YouTube associates such potty mouths in their videos? Now, I like to give my guests the shine when I do collabs with them. I have them do three entries and I do two. The reason that didn't happen with Pat is because he told me he couldn't think of a third one to talk about. I tried breaking it down for him and saying, bro, just think about things you see rap fans say that makes you go, like, why do people love saying this? That makes no sense. But he was like, nah, the boy, like these are the only two I got. That's also why one of his entries is insanely short. I think it's like, I do number one for three minutes, he does number two for one minute, and then I got number three for like five minutes. <laughs> so it felt like a solo video a little bit, but I was glad that I still made it with Pat considering how long I've been watching his content and how much of a goat he is. So now we have the complete opposite of performance when it comes to an Am I Sleeping video. This entire time I've been saying how my Am I Sleeping videos performed well in the first day, especially the X video. This one here on Tory Lanez was the complete opposite. This video instantly performed poorly in views. I think within the first hour it had like 200 and something views, which is horrible for my channel. I went like, damn, <laughs> people really don't like Tory Lanez. I ended up not caring about the views on this video after the money rolled in. I'm not gonna give y'all the exact number, but just know that I've made over $100 from this Tory Lanez video. So once I saw how much money it was making, I went, hey, I don't care if people watch it or not. <laughs> I got paid $100 to sit and listen to a foot shooter's music, like I'll take it. I pissed off so many old heads with this one right here. So my point of making this video was that there are stupid songs that exist in every era that people made popular. Every single generation got ridiculous songs that ended up on the radio. Somehow all these geriatric Joel Ortiz ass niggas was in my comments thinking I was making this video to say new school rap is better than old school. Saying things like, even if we have some stupid records from our time, like that's the majority of records for y'all. Every song from every new school artist nowadays is terrible. The only person y'all got is Kendrick. So I don't know how they took it that way. The only thing I was saying was, bruh. If you were the type of old head that was saying, oh my goodness, new school rap is trash nowadays when songs like Lil Pump's Gucci Games were taking off, but then you was the same person back in 2006 that was dancing to Laffy Taffy and booty, 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 booty rocking everywhere, then I don't want to hear anything from you. You had your little stupid dance songs or whatever that you enjoyed when you was younger, so let us enjoy ours. They was on my ass about putting Dilemma in the video too, talking about the toxicity of the relationship was the point. N nigga, nah. I stand by my opinion of the only reason Dilemma is so loved is because Kelly Rowland is a good singer. So a shit ton of people don't care about the words, they just simply love how the chorus sounds. The relationship described in that song was stupid. I had a ton of fun making this. It always ends up being the videos I had the most fun making that be the most successful on my channel. And here we are with the Demon Time video. I wasn't sure if I wanted to drop this at the end of 2021 or the very beginning of 2022, but I ended up choosing the end of 2021. This video was dropped on New Year's Eve because I was thinking, like, don't start this new year tomorrow on some bullshit. Now, one thing I don't understand is how people took one of the things I said as me saying I completely hated ghost viewers. I said in a video that it bothers me when someone's very first comment on my channel is when they tell me to do a video. Like, I've had people comment on a song ranking video saying, oh, do this on Lil Baby. And it would be a person that's never commented on my channel before. And when I confront them about it, a lot of people be like, oh no, I've been watching your channel for a long time. I just don't ever comment anything. And I was saying like, dang, so you finally decide to comment and it's you asking for some shit? <laughs> people took that as me saying, I completely dislike if you watch me, but don't comment. I've gotten so many people telling me, dang, bro, you made me feel bad when you was talking about the ghost viewers part. I've been watching your channel for a good year, but I've never had anything to say. I'll start commenting now, now that I know that that bothers you. 
I'm like, no, dude, no. <laughs> I don't have a problem with you watching and not commenting. That's not at all what I said. Another thing though, like the second entry when I was talking about time stampers, that was actually added at the end. I had another idea I was going to put at number two, but I took it out to talk about people time stamping getting on my nerves. But overall, this video was a complete dub, man. And I made sure I ended the year setting y'all straight.